Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Art Clean. So today is kind of a fun day. I'm in a mini battle with Kara Button, who is another gal who does Etsy SEO. We talk about lots of things. And there was a lady on the Marmalade Facebook group, which I will, I make little notes while I do this. So I need to do the Marmalade Facebook group. But Marmalade is a, um, is a software that you can use to find keywords for your Etsy listings. And I will put a link to Marmalade below too. Um, but this lady is super sad because one of the things that Marmalade does is it shows you how many searches are done each month for a specific keyword. And if you have all greens, they're very visual. So if you have all greens, that's excellent. And if you have no greens on your keyword, that's really bad. It means that there's very few searches done for that item in the month. And obviously there are very few searches done for that month. So now let's go and start looking at Tooth Fairy itself. Like, so how many people are coming to Etsy a month and doing a search for Tooth Fairy? Cause that's gonna be our baseline, right? That's everybody who has ever asked about a tooth fairy. So total, there are 350 to 400 searches per month with 900 to 950 engagements. So what that means is um, those 400 people are looking at at least two, if not more, um, listings. So they're not coming and sure what they're going to buy. They're kind of searching around for what they want. Um, so that is good. That gives us a chance. Okay. So number one, the thing that I want to talk about is 400 for that very specific term and there's 19,000 competition is not great, right? And if we look over here, here's some other tooth fairy things that are searched in um, Etsy. So tooth fairy bag, I could see that because functionally we just wrap it up in a paper towel. My son loses his teeth, so. Um, tooth fairy box, tooth fairy coins. You give them money, you don't give them tooth fairy coins. Um, tooth fairy letter. So Tooth Fairy Letter still has 000, but we need to start making a list of Tooth Fairy Letter. So we'll do a search, and I like to do, oh, uh, let's, let's finish that, Tooth Fairy SVG. SVG is a design file, so that wouldn't be for us. Necklace, pin, powder ring, socks, SVG. So Tooth Fairy Letter seems to be the very first one that we're gonna do. And this is one of the things I love. So Tooth Fairy, I can com com compare a whole bunch of things all at once. So we're gonna start with Tooth Fairy Letter because it seems like that might be something that is important. Now let's look at her listing so we can see our baseline of what we're going with. So she has um, a title that is very Tooth Fairy heavy. Now you don't get extra credit for having extra Tooth Fairies in there. I know at one point in time having that exact phrase, so people keyword stuff, but Etsy's getting away from that now. So she has Tooth Fairy certificate printable, Tooth Fairy receipt printable. So, if, and I believe in having two primary keywords for the item. So then we have, and, and I don't think that we have to have Tooth Fairy in them, but she has Tooth Fairy one, two, three, four, four times. So we can get back all of that Tooth Fairy extra things, um, extra letters, extra characters by not having Tooth Fairy so often. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down through and find some keywords that I think she should use, do her keyword um, title and then do some tags I think she should use too because I also looked at her tags they're down below here um, down here right uh, so first off we see that she's in paper and party supplies paper stationary stationary sets 
I know. Etsy does not have great... Does not have great um, categories for lots of us. But what I thought was we could make, also do paper and party supplies, paper invitation announcements and templates, which I found in the boy version. So this is kind of a girl version and she could do the boy version with that. So she has two different listings for different um, tooth fairy certificates or whatever we decide to call this thing. And that way she could be in two different categories possibly to be found and then they could cross each other and help promote her. So it's always good to be found in more categories. I have people that have all different questions about can you list something um, in multiple categories and as long as you have different first pictures I believe you're allowed to do that and uh, I do that myself sometimes. All right. I'm not big on sticking to Etsy because Etsy is not the be all and end all of the world and I am a website girl from way back. I've been doing SEO on um, Google for years so my very first thing I always do is I go to Google. Excuse me. I've been making a bunch of videos and so I'm dry. So let's go to let's go to Google and see what they say. So Tooth Fairy movie, Tooth Fairy pillow, Tooth Fairy letter, there we go, letter again, Tooth Fairy ideas. So I, and then down here, certificate. I don't, and it does do it in order. So now we have Tooth Fairy ideas. And Tooth Fairy finally certificate. Okay, now let's talk about this. To her, functionally, it is a Tooth Fairy certificate, um, but we need to know what the rest of the world calls it, right? So let's go to Tooth Fairy Letter, because I seem to see that a wee bit. So I would start with Tooth Fairy Letter. And the one thing that we're going to do with Google, and I have mine set to show a lot more, <laughs> a lot more results than everybody does. Um, so free Tooth Fairy Letter will not work for us, because we're selling a product. Tooth Fairy Letter PDF. Hmm, hers is not a PDF. I think it's an editable, editable PDF. <gasps> Tooth Fairy. So we got to get PDF in there. Tooth Fairy PDF. Now I'm putting all these Tooth Fairies in here. I'm going to be taking them out when we get done. Okay, so now we have PDF is important because it's showing up in Google. Personalized Tooth Fairy letter. Um you can personalize it because you can edit it. So I would like it to be iced tooth fairy letter. And the way you could get around that is create your own, right? Own personalized tooth fairy letter, right? We may not put this in the, in the, um, in the title because that may feel like they're going to get a, like, I did it and sent it to them. But we can definitely get that personalized in there somewhere. Tooth Fairy Letter template. See, to me, the thing that she made is a template. I'm going to say TF. Template. Boy. Tooth Fairy Letter first tooth. So first tooth is another good one. Tooth Fairy Letterhead. Interesting. I'm intrigued. Let's go see what it is. Open link. All right. Tooth Fairy Letterhead. It is... It's what we were doing, right? It's like that the Tooth Fairy sending them a letter. So letterhead is a good word for us. Brief, printable Tooth Fairy Letter and Envelope. Tooth Fairy Letter No Tooth. And my daughter's coming in, so you're going to see her. I'll put her on, I'll put you on pause for just one second while I say hi to my girl. All right, Hello. she's out of here. Bye. <laughs> All right, so we're doing this Tooth Fairy Letter No Tooth. Interesting, No Tooth. And I get what that is. That's if he swallowed it, right? Um, so maybe that's something to do with maybe a specialized product um, where you could do a Tooth Fairy letter rather than a certificate. 
So that kind of does it for me. I would like to see, though, what Google thinks about Tooth Fairy Letter template ideas, first tooth printable PDF, letterhead, no tooth boy, girl. Okay, so I feel like we have everything covered for that. I'm good with Google. Now, Pinterest is a really good place to get ideas because the same people that are shopping on Etsy are super interested in Pinterest, too. So we're going to say tooth fairy ideas is big so we are going to have ideas in there um pillow letter ideas for boys so ideas for boys ideas for girls um for boys girls okay um doo -doo 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 -doo. so let's see tooth fairy ideas we're going to see this now the cool thing about pinterest is it's going to give us a lot more um things they are functionally searching printable do we have printable yet we have pdf we do not have printable okay last minute dude last minute tooth fairy ideas i get what that is so say so you don't have any money and you gotta still do it you say Jack up your mom and dad for the tooth fairy money. Forgot, pillow, forgot, well, I don't know about forgot. Letters, money, creative, creative. Creative is a big one on here. And then if you're, the, so the nice thing about doing it this way is if you're sharing it on Pinterest and you have these kind of words in your title, not in your tags, Google and Pinterest do not care about your tags, but they care about your title. Now we can start to have a whole bunch of different words that we can use for this. And I think that lost tooth, let's do lost tooth. Lost tooth ideas, lost tooth chart, lost tooth scrapbook page. No tooth, lost tooth, first tooth. So we got all kinds of teeth in here, right? Um, and I feel like we're having a lot of good things. Now let's go back to marmalade. We're going to move our little words over here. So Tooth Fairy Letter gets between 50 and 100 searches a month. Now, the lady was super mad because it isn't green. And it's not going to be green. You are not selling something that is going to have a ton of searches each month. If you do long necklace... Today my video program is slowing it down. You could have, you could maybe try to get all green because you would still have a high number of searches and you could try to find ones with lower competition. But there is, there, to me, this is great. There's 700 people only that are doing Tooth Fairy Letters. So now let's go look at this. Let's go look at, at what Etsy says. Tooth Fairy Pillow. I like Tooth Fairy Pillow. I would do that. Tooth Fairy Letter. No Tooth Fairy Certificate. So already we can fix this by getting letter in here. We don't have letter in here anywhere. Okay, so let's look up Tooth Fairy Certificate. Okay, let's get that one going. Um, tooth Fairy Ideas. Let's see if anybody does Tooth Fairy Ideas on Etsy. Um, Tooth Fairy Template. I think Tooth Fairy Template. Let's do printable. Let's see what that does. Okay, so Tooth Fairy Certificate has fewer searches and then fewer competitions. So this is 0 to 50. So I would definitely say for me, and I'm doing my own little one, create a listing, my first words are going to be Tooth Fairy Letter. There you go. That is my first major keyword. Uh, tooth Fairy Ideas. Oh my gosh, the engagement is between 50 to 100 a month. That is great. So, and then there's 650 competitions, so it's probably a good keyword. Um, uh, I'm going to say Lost Tooth Ideas, right? Because Lost Tooth came up fairly highly here. Let's see what, what Lost Tooth Ideas does. 
Uh, tooth Fairy Printable didn't do much of anything. Lost, oops, oops, oops. Lost Tooth Ideas. Competition's only 50. I like it. I like it for Google, and I like it for Pinterest. I don't necessarily like it for Etsy, but we're really, really getting killed with, um, you know, that there just aren't that many searches done. There were only 400 total searches done for the very specific term of, of uh, Tooth Fairy. So as we get beyond that, it's going to be, um, it's going to be even worse. Now I'm going to go with, so I like that. I think the Tooth Fairy idea for the boys and the girls. Now I'm going to check Tooth Fairy Printable. See what we do here. And then Tooth Fairy PDF. And then I'm going to do Personalized Tooth Fairy. And this is how I use Marmalade. I, especially because I sell um, vintage things, I have such weird things that I really need to know, um, like kind of what, oh gosh, Personalized Tooth Fairy has so much competition. So that is going to be at the very end of my tag. So as I'm doing this, I usually just come down here and I'm going to say personalized. I'm going to put it in my list. So personalized. Oh, I'm going to get another piece of paper. Hang on. I'm using a different piece of paper. Personalized tooth. And I think I'm only going to get personalized tooth. I don't think I'm going to get personalized tooth fairy. Personalized custom. I'm going to do personalized custom. All right, you people who think that it has to be, that the tags have to be in the exact same order. I don't do my tags in exact same order as my titles, meaning um, I have personalized custom, then I have tooth fairy letter, right? Tooth fairy letter, because I tend to do them as I think of them. And I tend to do them like this so that I know how many I have left, like I have 12 left. What I could do, because I'm over here making a little, um, I'm making a little list of the tags so I can give them to that lady. Uh, I could just change them and see, I just moved it around. So if you just do it over here, it's very letter, personalized, custom. There you go. And you don't have to freak out, right? All right, so let's see what Marmy Lead's doing. We got Tooth Fairy. I don't know why they don't like Tooth Fairy PDFs, but they definitely don't like it as well. All right, so I'm going to come back up here, and I'm going to say PDF. They don't like that. So they like personalized better. And they like printable. Okay, so let's get over here. And when we're doing it um, with such small numbers, we need to take every indication that Marmalade is giving us. Even if it's just a variation in that green, they know what they're doing. They're doing it with data, and I can't do that. So I'm going to say printable certificate, because we did have... We did have certificate. I just don't need it in Tooth Fairy. I already have Tooth Fairy. Um, so I got certificate. I got, I don't have PDF yet. I don't have, now, this is something that I did notice. This lady has, has uh, Pen Penelope Williams has taken outstanding care of his teeth, and I, the Tooth Fairy, have accepted his healthy. Now, it's, it's editable, right? But I do know that if I was selling this pink Tooth Fairy thing, I would have this pink one be all girls. I noticed it before, 
So for girls, right? So this is, um, where's my tools? Template. I'm going to say template. I got my template. Template for girls. Okay, excellent. Uh, Tooth Fairy Ideas letter. Letter. I got ideas. I got ideas. I got letter. PDF. Letter head. PDF. Letter head. All right, now let's go back into Marmy and do the real search for letter and see what else we can find over here. Um, I want some, I want some, so the ones I didn't Google and the ones I didn't Pinterest are awesome, but they don't necessarily relate apples to apples to um, Etsy, which is why Marmalade's so good. So this is great. So our Tooth Fairy letter, we do them good. Let's see what category. Yeah, they're putting them in paper goods, stationary. It's probably why she put that there. Um, we would be a little different in that that one we came up with, the invitations and announcements. I kind of feel like it's an announcement, and then we would get template too. Okay, so baby tooth box. Uh, there we go. Tooth fairy bags, tooth fairy box, tooth fairy cone, uh, tooth fairy pillow. It's tempting to put tooth fairy pillow there like put it under your pillow but there's a thing called conversion so if we put pillow there and somebody thought they were getting a tooth still fairy pillow and they were just getting a certificate they may they probably won't look at it and then we've shown up in search but we haven't been clicked so our conversion rate goes down so that's not good um do we have we have lost tooth I am going to put creative lost tooth ideas, creative, because um, just for nothing, uh, Pinterest loves creative ideas. So I still have 36. I still can do a million words, maybe not a million. So I did letterhead, right? Did I do letterhead? I did letterhead. Oh, now first tooth. The order of the title matters because that's what shows up in Google. Um, so I would say for sure, first tooth. See what happens if we do first tooth. So do you know why I'm, I got so excited when I went back to first tooth? because I have the cutest son. He's adorable and he's 10. And the first two, he, we adopted all our, our kids. So my big girls, my the girl that was here, she had lost her teeth before we got her or she lost them and she wasn't very excited about it. But my son was very little when he lost his first tooth and he was super excited. And um, I was super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I get to be the tooth fairy. and. I get to do all that, and I'm telling you, he's lost like 10 of the suckers, and by now I'm like, yeah, just here's five bucks, kid, get over it. So this is going to be one of those things where it's going to matter that uh, how excited people are, right? So first tooth is really good. Um, only 72 shops competing. Average renewal is three weeks. So she could renew that more often if this is a keystone um product that she sells a lot that helps generate her shop renewing doesn't work as well as it used to but it definitely doesn't hurt and what these people are doing is they're just letting them churn until they renew which as a digital seller i go in every day and i renew one or two of my items that i want to show up so you could do that too you don't have to okay so we got all our same tooth fairy things so Excellent. First tooth. Now let's see if we can get some comparisons and see if there's any better first tooth. First tooth letter. First tooth certificate. First tooth template. First two certificate. 
Well, it likes first tooth letter a lot more. Sorry, half letter. All right, I'm not doing much with that yet. Do I have PDF in there? I thought I had PDF. PDF. No tooth. Now see this is I've accepted a tooth. So this isn't this isn't good. I'm going to keep no tooth down here in the um in the tags because I did find it and it could be a good tag. Um so I'm going to put this in my no tooth tags. No tooth teeth. In the tags I'm putting teeth because I know SEO says that it doesn't matter whether you do tooth or teeth, but those are two different words, and I always do the plural and the um, thing. And then I'm going to say, dude, gifts work for me. So I'm going to say last minute gift. I've done searches for, okay, here. So definitely, we still are zero, but this one looks a lot better. And then certificate and then template. They don't like template, first tooth template. Okay, so let's do this and let's do um, gift, gifts, present, presents. Okay. This is why, and this goes across everything, literally everything, because in my family, we gave presents, but people are looking for gifts. So the engagement, so the difference here is if you do gift, it's got um, two to three, and this gifts has two to three, and the engagement, meaning how many people are doing something with it is about the same, but look at this engagement, that's crazy. And when you're doing such a niche product, these little tiny differences, well, I guess it's not a little tiny difference, it's 2,000 to 19,000 difference is, um, is a big deal. So I'm gonna say gift, gift for moms. Yeah, that's a gift for moms. I wouldn't say gift for new moms because they don't start losing their teeth until you've had them for a while. Um, gift for moms, and do I have anything? Last minute, I need last minute, crap. Okay, oh good, I'm glad this happened. Um, so I'm minus four, because I really do think last minute gift for moms, is, you could do last minute gift moms, and then I would still be one behind. But what I do when I'm doing my SEO is I just take out all the commas. You could have commas in there. You could not have commas in there. I just go backwards, I print the commas. And then this is why. Let's look at her certificate. When I come to this thing, I look and I see, is this what I searched for? Tooth Fairy certificate printable, Tooth Fairy receipt printable. Receipt, we haven't seen receipt anywhere. Receipt is gone, gone. Um, we could add it in our tags. We'll go put it in our tags, receipt. Maybe she knows that from her stats. This is why you can't judge based on just the front end and doing research. She should also go look at her own stats and see what other keywords she's been found for. But this is what I would do. So, and I can't do preview because I don't have it all filled out because Etsy, right? Um, so let's do our... So we have receipt, she had another weird word in there, card, 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 cards, so that gives me those guys, um, so I'm going to add those, and then I'm going to come up here, I'm going to get this, I'm going to drop this in here for our tags. Okay, so last minute gift, last minute, let's see if we can get gift, it may be too long, and then gift for mom, last minute's too long, oh, what about a comma there, 
Last minute gift, gifts for mom. Yay. So we got first tooth, last minute gift. Okay, and then I'm gonna say last minute gifts, just so I can get it in there. The plural, it's not as good. If I could type, I would be unstoppable. Okay, PDF, letterhead. We got printable already in here, don't we? Oh, printable certificate. Template for girls, excellent. Printable certificate, excellent. Four left. Tooth fairy letter, we got already. Creative, lost tooth. I'm going to say creative ideas. Do we have lost tooth? We do not have lost tooth. So I would say creative lost tooth ideas, and then it'll combine it. That's pretty important to be in that order. And then printable certificate. Do we have that? We don't have that. So we have, um, I'm going to pull out PDF, PDF printable. I do digital products, so I know that those are um, something that people look for. And then, um, Certificate. Can I squeeze it in here somewhere? First tooth certificate. First tooth printable. Did we do? I need to remember certificate, but first tooth printable. It's going to be too long. Too long. Too long. Tooth. All right. Um, the reason I'm sad is I wish I had one more. Um, because I would like to put her, her Maddie Loves Kiwi um, in there. I tend to put my my um, shop name in my listings. Because I do a lot of things like this where I mention my shop, digital shop, Paperly People, or my vintage shop, so Glamorously Vintage, name dropping. Uh, and so that way it is, um, you know. It's a way that people can find you on Etsy without having to, because the search for the actual shop name is horrible. So hopefully that helps. That's how I do my SEO and how I use Marmalade to get my numbers down, especially on niche items like this. So hope that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.